Hello holiday love bugs coming to you from my camera. <laughs> so feeling lonely for the holidays. Like you just wanna wrap yourself up in a blanket, curl up with some wine, and just shut the world out. I totally feel you. And in today's video, I'm going to give you two really great ways to not feel so lonely during this holiday season. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're gonna toast to loneliness being a good thing. So holidays are supposed to be, and they're marketed as the happiest time of year, the best time of year. So when you're already feeling lost or sad or lonely, a lot of times all of this holiday spirit and Christmas joy can make us feel worse. It can make us feel more lonely or more sad or more depressed. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you're going through a breakup. Maybe, maybe you lost someone very close to you. Maybe you lost a job that you really depended on. And when the holidays and family get togethers and, and romantic partnerships and spending money on gifts is something that is so routinely thrown in our faces this time of year, it can often deepen our pain and it can make us feel even worse and then because we know we're supposed to be happy and it's supposed to be the happiest time of the year we feel even worse and it just compounds and gets and it gets deeper and deeper and deeper inside of us and i'm here to tell you it doesn't have to be that way because i love you because I love you and I love you every time of the year and not just during the holidays and if you love me like just a little bit, just a little bit, can you like, like my video and maybe subscribe so we can like hang out again next week, you know, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the first thing that can help make your holiday season feel not so lonely. Okay, it sounds simple but there's so much to it, and that is doing something for someone else. And before you say, well, sir, I don't have the money, or whatever you're gonna say, this doesn't have to be something huge. Do If you want to go sponsor a family for Christmas or donate money, like, absolutely, go do that. But there are so many other ways that you can help other people, whether they're people you know or people you don't know. And this could go all around. I mean, you could go and, and surprise your parents and clean their house for them. You could teach your little brother or sister how to drive. You can go help, help out at a homeless shelter. You know, there are so many things that you can do and it's so wonderful and it's really the best way to get out of your holiday loneliness because not only does that change the chemicals in your brain when you help someone else, but you're helping someone else. I mean, there's no lose here. It's a win-win situation. On top of that, it's going to give you a little more perspective of your own life where whatever it is that you're going through, there are people out there that would kill to trade places with you. And that's not me standing here and, and demeaning what you're going through. That's not what I'm saying at all. You know, there's, there's no comparison to the level of pain and loneliness that we can all feel. But just like there's always someone that's going to have something, have it better than you do, there's always someone that's going to have it worse. And I think that there are so many different ways that helping other people can put that into perspective of like, Oh, like I actually have a lot to be thankful for and I have a lot um, to be grateful for. And on top of that, you can build connections with people. You can build connections with different people in the community or people you see on the street. You know, something that I do and I do this year round is I carry what I call my homeless bags in my car. And basically what I do is I get all these like little glittery fun bags that you know you can get at Target or Walmart or the dollar store or wherever 
and I fill them with a bunch of things that people that I see that are, you know, without homes or that are struggling may need. So I put little snacks in there and toiletries and toothbrushes and I even put a positive note in there, something saying like, you know, you can do this or you are worthy. And, um, and then I also carry a bunch of $5 bills around with me. So whenever I see someone that's on a street corner and they need something, I can just pop out one of my bags from the pack back seat, grab a $5 bill out of my wallet and give it to them. And not only is it helping this person in need, but it helps me too. It makes me feel good to be able to help with someone and I get to stand there sometimes and talk to them and um, see what their story is and just connect with your neighbors, connect with the people in your community. and. You know, it, there's just such a beautiful thing about that. So I encourage you not only to do this during the holidays, but do it all the time. You know, people need love all the time. And the more love that you give, you're going to get it back tenfold. Okay. And I don't mean that in a way like, oh, I'm only helping this person so that, you know, I feel good. Like the more you love, the more you give, the more, lo more love you're going to feel inside of your heart. I can promise you that. Okay, and the second thing I wanna talk about, especially because the holidays are obviously at the end of the year. So this is a good time to sit back and reflect on things that are going on in your life and that have gone on through the past year. And I mean specifically the things that are making you feel sad and the things that are making you feel down and lonely because what happens is if we don't, if we try to push these things down, they're energetically going to get stuck in our bodies and we're never going to be able to feel better. But if we can sit there and reflect about these things that happen and find just a sliver of gratitude for it, it could be the littlest thing. It will start to help you see your problems and your struggles in not as crazy as a negative light, but a little bit in a positive one as well. So for example, um, I had some Friendsgivings last weekend with so many of my friends, my families were there, it, I had just a fantastic time. And I'm going through, I wouldn't necessarily call it a breakup, but kinda, I guess, um, right now. And a bunch of my friends have gotten engaged. And I'm pretty much one of my only friends now that doesn't have a partner, a, a significant other. And don't get me wrong, it gets to me sometimes. But instead of focusing on that when I was with all of my friends, I just allow myself to feel the love and the connections that I had with my actual friends. So it's like, it's kind of all about perception. It's like, I could have spent those few hours in that time focusing on the fact that I didn't have, you know, a significant other there or the person that I love there with me. Or I could have spent those few hours connecting and having a good time with friends that I don't get to see very often. So you see, a lot of times when we're feeling lonely or sad, as much as we really don't want to admit this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the hard truth right now, we're choosing it. A lot of times we're choosing the loneliness and we're choosing the sadness. And that doesn't mean it's easy to just flip a light and say, oh, you know, I'm gonna be so happy right now and I'm gonna da 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 and I'm gonna be la la, you know, I'm gonna throw flowers through the air <laughs> or whatever. Hey guys, so <laughs> I thought this was important to put in this video. Um, it's Wednesday night, so this video is going up in less than two days. And basically I go to church on Wednesday nights at my local church because there's so many people that go on Sundays uh, I get anxious and so it just it just stresses me out going Sundays so I go Wednesdays. So I just went tonight and it turns out that they actually weren't having a service tonight and they were having a Christmas tree like lighting ceremony and there were food trucks and uh, like little baby goats there and stuff. And um, I go to church alone and um, I 
trying to do a lab. I was there for the actual like tree lighting um, ceremony, which was really pretty. And I just looked around and all of these people, like families and couples and friends were all, you know, hanging out together and um, they, you know, were having a great time. And I was just like surrounded by, you know, probably 150, 200 people and I felt so alone and I love goats <laughs> and so I went over to the goats but then all these kids were in there playing with them normally I'd go in and like see them but um I just went, didn't want to like impede on like the kids uh you know hanging out with them and so I left and as I'm walking through the the parking lot to my car this happened and the reason I'm inserting this in this video was because super relevant and I feel like on social media people often will say they're going through things and it's hard to believe them because you know when you're feeling upset and you're feeling down or angry or whatever negative emotion you're feeling like the last thing you want to do is pull out your camera like I'm doing right now. But I think I just, the message I want to get out there to you guys is that it's okay to feel your feelings and it's okay to allow them to pass through you because if you hold your feelings in you and you, you don't allow yourself to cry, it's going to get pushed down. It's going to get stuck inside you. So when you're feeling lonely or depressed or whatever during the holidays or any time, if you feel like you need to cry, let yourself, allow yourself to cry. I mean, would you go to your best friend or your mom or whoever and say, stop crying, like you shouldn't be crying? I would hope not. And so I'm just on here to tell you, like, don't do that to yourself. And even, I know so many people tell me how positive I am and how happy I am all the time. And I am a, I am a positive and happy person, but that doesn't mean that I am positive and happy 24 seven. And it's very hard for me to get on here and be this vulnerable. And like, I purposely like, I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, whoa. And I was about to like take this off before I started recording this, my mascara. And then I was like, you know what? No, like I want to be so real with you guys and I want to be vulnerable and put myself out there and understand that we're all just people, you know, um, no matter who it is that you look up to, whether it's social media influencers or actors or, or probably not politicians, but, <laughs> but like, you know, anything like that, like we're all just human beings and we all feel emotions and have hard times in our lives. And, um, I just want to tell you that it's okay. And one of the tips that I use, and I just recently started doing this, and it's actually very helpful, is that you don't want to define yourself by the emotion that you're feeling. So on my car ride home, I was kind of, you know, crying, and I heard, I like started saying to myself, like in my head, like, I'm so lonely, like, I'm so sad, I'm so whatever. And then I stopped myself and I said, no, I just feel lonely right now. I just felt upset in that moment and that allows you to realize and not define yourself by that emotion because if you start defining yourself you will start acting in that way and it will just kind of compound so just allow yourself to feel these emotions we're all the same and you know it's 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 gonna be okay things change seasons pass and um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling now, but I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys that like, I love you and it's okay and be easy on yourself and I'm here for you and I get it. Love you. But just take yourself back in that moment, reflect on those things that have happened in the past year because I can pretty much guarantee you everything that you've gone through this past year wasn't a bad thing. If, say you got in a car accident, you know, you got in a really bad car accident and your car was totaled and you had to spend a lot of money and you didn't have a car for a while or maybe you still don't and maybe you were even a little bit injured from that, that car accident. 
but you're here watching this video and you're alive and you're breathing and you're okay. All right, maybe you're going through a divorce or you're going through a breakup and you feel kind of lost and sad, but now you have all of this freedom and you can literally do whatever you wanna do. Like there's always a little bit of a positivity. It's kind of like, we're not gonna go so far into this, but it's a little bit like yin and yang. You know, there's good and bad and there's bad and good. So all I'm asking for you to do is when you're feeling lonely in this holiday season and you're looking around and you're seeing um, all these families together and all these couples together and um, you know, maybe you're having fertility issues and you see children, like all I'm asking you to do is find that little bit, that little bit of goodness in the bad. And I promise if you continue to do this and you train yourself to do this every day or as often as you possibly can, this is not gonna happen every day. I have my bad days. I'm not positive and happy every day. I was gonna film this video two days ago and I was like, ah, that. <laughs> I was not in the mood to do it. And guess what? That's okay. So not every day is going to be good, but there's good in every day. At least something. Comment that down below. There's good in every day. There's good in every day. I love you guys so much. I know that this can be a tough time of year, but I promise just hang in there. It's worth it. You're growing. Love yourself. Love the people around you, no matter if they have more things that, that you want or they have more things than you have. Go help out someone down the street. Go help out a neighbor, you know, rake their leaves or go help out at a homeless shelter. Go do something that's going to benefit not only you, but other people too. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you want to come hang out with me again next week. And I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.